Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. If you weren't quite aware, last week Insta360 made a couple big announcements. They launched a fairly significant software update for their existing cameras, added some new editing capabilities, and they also launched these new quick readers. They have a horizontal version, and this one is for the Insta360 ONE-R, and they have a vertical version, and this one is for the Insta360 ONE-X2. Basically how they work is you load a memory card into these units, and you plug it into the side of the camera. When you're done filming for the day, you unplug it and you can plug it directly into your phone and we'll do a demonstration here in a second. Now these are perhaps not for everybody but if you're a person who films quite a bit with your Insta360 camera as mentioned it will save you a lot of time. So this here is what they look like. We have the horizontal version here for the Insta360 ONE-R and we have the vertical version here. Both function the same way. We have a USB-C port for connecting to the camera. We have a memory card slot in the bottom there and then at the top here we have a lightning port for connecting to an iPhone. If you're going to connect this to an Android device, you would just use that same USB-C port. For the horizontal version, it's as simple as plugging it into the side there. Once they're plugged in, it will disable the onboard memory card, and it will record all the videos to the new module. Now I'm just going to show you quickly here how it works. The first thing you're going to do is insert a memory card into the module. You can leave the existing memory card in the camera. It will switch back and forth depending on whether this is connected or not. It's also a good idea to make sure you have the latest firmware on the camera and you're running the latest version of the app. The first thing you want to do is open the USB-C door cover and pull it off. Now you don't have to worry, that can go back on. It's just kind of a little wedge there that will fit back in the hole. So if you decide not to use this in the future, you can easily reattach it. And then you just go ahead and plug the module in. Just like that there. Now this is the vertical one, so as you can see it's going to be in the stitch line so it will be invisible when you're recording in 360. We'll go ahead here and we're going to power on the camera. And you can see right away we get this message stating that it's going to switch to the quick reader and it's going to restart so we'll hit that check mark. So now at this point when we hit record it's going to record directly to the memory card in the quick reader. So let's go ahead here and we'll just demonstrate that quickly. We'll start recording. We'll stop recording. We're going to now power off the camera. And here's the beauty part, we can now disconnect the quick reader. And again, depending if you're going to be connecting it to an Android or an iPhone, Android you would use the USB-C port, iPhone you're going to use the lightning port. All we have to do is now plug it in. And right away it's going to ask us if we will allow the phone to communicate with the quick reader. So we will allow that. That's going to launch the Insta360 app. So now when we go over to our album, you can see there it's reading all the content off the quick reader. There's that video that we just recorded. We can bring the video up just like normal. We can preview it, play it. We can also go in and edit the footage directly off the quick reader. We don't have to transfer it over first. But if you want to, of course, you can just go ahead and transfer the footage over. And because it's a hardwired connection, it's going to be a lot faster and not as problematic as connecting over Wi-Fi. If you're a person who transfers lots of large files over, it is definitely going to be a lot quicker. So a really interesting product from Insta360. As mentioned, this won't be for everybody. If you're just a casual user, just transferring content once in a while, you may not really have much use for it. However, as mentioned, if you're a power user and you're recording every day with your camera, this is definitely going to save you a lot of time and aggravation. The version for the Insta360 ONE-R works exactly the same. And again, if you're using the 360 degree mod, it is in the stitch line, so it will be invisible as well. So yeah, folks, that is the new quick reader for the Insta360 ONE-R and the Insta360 ONE-X2. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.